Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I'm going to do a flip through of the second set, uh, this journal set with stacked envelope and a coordinating pouch to um, store everything in. So I had already done one of these and I sold it and then I did a tutorial on how to create the cover. And now I'm going to do the flip through um, of this because the inside is is different than the last one and so is the envelope stack so this is a multi uh layered envelope embellished envelopes comes with this cute open spine uh journal very french uh french shabby chic very rustic kind of design and then i made this pouch and it is with eyelet lace and there's a couple layers of lace here and then you can see your journal and all your envelopes can fit right in there so here we go let me put that aside and have a seat and i'm going to show you all the ephemera that is in these uh because i've stacked this uh these pretty full let me make sure i'm in frame okay so each stack i've 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 stacked the stacks together and tied them up with this um, mauve color twine and then we have a stack of one two three four five here and then a stack of one two three four here and then a stack of three so let's start with this one and this little this mini snack the mini envelopes i should say are just tied up with this jute twine okay so this is the first one you can see i've done a lot of collage on this and here's the back uh, so let's just pop this open and you can see the inside of these envelopes are all printed uh, and we've got a journal card here I use these beautiful chapter one papers again the French floral uh, kit and then we've got lots of little pieces of ephemera for you to use in your other projects or uh, to even use in the journal here right on the back pop them back in your thing however you choose to use them these cute little envelopes will be fun to add if i can get this shut notes and stuff throughout and then this one this is a okay this one is a coin envelope and this is from the chapter one uh kit their coin on her coin envelope french floral kit got some tape and a label and and this is from her ephemera kit and then uh as you can see i have some sari draped across the top and in this one we have and i might not be able to get everything out of these envelopes there's quite a bit in them i think i even added more in this kit than the other one i'm pretty sure i have a uh, journal card this cute little foster's hook glove there's this one and then these uh, vintage uh, advertising for raspberries and that's in that one and you see how i stack them so i kind of some are one way and some are the other way just because i i like the way it looked in the bundle so um okay this one is another uh, coin envelope and we've got a label here stamp a little um stamping there and then some embossed paper and in this one we have a journaling card here a journaling uh postcard here these are backed and then another um little mini journaling card so there's that one uh, this one I think is so cute it's got a little stamp a little bit of that aged um, tape and then uh, a, several different trims and an applique there and in this one okay let's see and you can see there's the inside uh, you can see it's printed some of that pretty paper so i have a um 
a larger journaling card there. We've got a vintage advertisement here. Okay, and then um, two more pieces of ephemera here. This is like an old key. Okay, and then this one, a little rosebud there. Here it goes this way, got a little label there, a little rosebud, a little old vintage uh, player piano paper, some embossing, and then another label there and some stamping up here. And a journaling card here and another one here. And these are nice because they coordinate with the journal, of course. And some of these you can pull out and use in your other projects. Okay, so there's that one. Um, I have done a video a while back on uh, making these embellished stacked envelopes. This one, this set I actually have just tied up with some sari, or not some sari, some seam binding. And then we have uh, this trim down here. Uh, so if you want to see me in process of doing us a stack of envelopes, several stacks. Wow, is this stuck? It shouldn't be stuck because I did not put the stuff in. There's a journaling card. I th there it is. It's just, I, I think I'm gonna have to trim a little bit off of this one. So I'm gonna leave that one out. So we have a journaling card here and then these really sweet advertisements, vintage advertisements. Okay, so there's that one, and then you can see I did some trim here, tape, and some embellishing there. And in this, I think I really have these stuffed. See, this one's tight too. I think I'm going to have to um, just trim these a little bit. Well, I can't even... <clears throat> I can't even get this one card out and I don't want to, I'm going to have to work on this. So I think it's just a little bit too tight. I'll have to work on that one, but there's a journaling card in there and then this one. Okay. Then I have this French, uh, old French, uh, style envelope. I did a vintage stamp on it. I did a little trim here and I have a wax seal here, but, um, let me get this little mini Tim Holtz clip off, but it's glued so you can keep it on there. And then this just pops down like this. And then we have ephemera, ephemera, and ephemera. So this is, you can write on this. And I've aged this um, to make it look authentic. I'm trying to think, I don't know. Sometimes I will print these on cotton paper, but no, this one's actually been printed on photo paper, so. There's that one, and then the last in this stack is I simply just have this sari around it, and this is a, a faux envelope here, and this just opens up. I did a little scallop, or a little fun, you know, design there. I just take the scissors and kind of just cut around it. Okay, so we've got another one of those postcards and two more pieces of ephemera in this one. Okay, so there's that second stack. And then the third stack, I have this pretty chiffon, um, coppery, peachy color ribbon here. And that's just tied around the three. And these are the larger envelopes. And um, you can just see I've done some collage here. And then got a little tie up here um, with a grommet and then a little bit of embellishing here and uh, in this one I used uh, some velcro to keep it down and then let's pull everything out here so we've got a larger journaling card here beautiful vintage uh, advertisement here and then I just a little booklet this was like an off cut so just made it into a little booklet so that's in that one let me put that back there uh, this one again, I did a lot of layers of collage here, vintage music, doily, some muslin, a label, an old, uh, I don't know what that is there, and then some of the cutoff of, from the chapter one papers, some splattering and inking and aging and all that fun stuff. 
Okay, let's see what we have in this one. Okay, we've got this, ah, uh, I love this. She's dreaming of her sewing machine. It's one of my favorite um, old advertisements. Uh, journaling card from one of the chapter, I think all of this ephemera right here was from the chapter one um, kit. So I just, you know, aged it. Faux aged it. Okay, yeah, it goes this way. Okay, uh, again, just a lot of trims and stenciling and yeah, some stenciling, uh, some trims, and uh, this is coffee stain paper that I, I aged as well. A Another one of these um, faux antique envelopes here. The way they used to do it is their letter would be, I think, written on the inside, and they would fold it up, and, the out, and it would become the, the envelope as well. A large journal card there, and then this fun uh, ephemera here. Okay, so that's the uh, stacked envelope. I'll put it back together and make it really pretty. And uh, with this one, I used the sage green um, sari uh, to tie and wrap the open spine journal with and let's get in again uh, like the other one actually all i did is have a loose tie on the this one so the other one i had fed through it and done some different things but this one i did not so you can see my hinges are lace over muslin on this one uh some embellishing here and then um there's also i believe room right let me see i might need a thinner an un you know did i glue the whole thing down oh i did i thought i glued the whole thing down the other one i left room in behind so um we've got the flip we've got um some collage tags okay little label and these are all collage tags Okay, so with trims, real pretty trims, that's antique lace there, and uh, in the back pocket. So there we go, and opening up, um, vintage music, and then ephemera, and ephemera, this is a double pocket, actually these are back, so they're, car they're journaling cards, sewed around. Okay, in this one, uh, I've got some trim here. There's not a ton of trim in here because I need to do, you know, I did so much time in that, in the envelopes that I wanna make sure the price point is decent. So um, here's one of my collage tags, large one there, coffee stain paper. Uh, I've added a one of my cute little tag, uh, embellished paper clips here and then added a piece of the um that i had left over from the embossed and inked so you can whoever uses you can either put it you know cut it in two and make a couple pockets out of it whoever purchases this or maybe just cut it up and you know glue it to the papers like that is uh vintage music little bling there very grungy uh, this is on cotton paper it's a um, antique document okay I just have clipped on here a floating tag with some ephemera in it I'm gonna pop it in a pocket right on the back put it back in and a vintage advertisement, a facsimile, I should say, that I age and try to make them look as genuine as possible. I'm not sure how I did that, so put that back after. Okay, our center of the first signature, um, we've got a little booklet here 
and it has a vellum printed vellum cover. Okay, so that's just in here. Another one of my larger collage tags, and this is actually a um, dry cleaning, dry cleaning uh, tag. Got another tag here and a vintage receipt, French receipt. And these little pockets. Printed vellum. Got a little tuck spot here and a pocket here. In this corner tuck, vintage uh, document. A simile, I should say. That I try to make look real. Uh, and then a embellished tag here and a tag here, Jules Chatty. That's so funny because, you know, my nickname is Jules and I, I just love that. And you know, I am a little chatty. Manuscript paper. This is a uh, grid dot paper water or um, handmade paper did a little trim here and a little trim here a couple little pieces of i did not back these of ephemera a lot of room in your bag for storage Love this doily dot grid. Middle of the signature. I didn't put anything on this because I thought this paper was so beautiful. This page was so beautiful. Now the way I do my open spine journals is I do um, reinforce them with a pamphlet stitch. So I'm always concerned that I'm gonna get too big of holes. So I just wrap the ribbon around. And a nice piece of vellum, printed vellum to use wherever you want. Got a top tuck and a French um, advertisement for a party, a party. Okay, I think we're getting toward the back. A pocket here, and then a one of my um, collage tags, and then that large tag. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through and um, I will be putting this in my Etsy shop. If you don't see it in there, I probably won't get it in today and you're interested in it. Just pop a note below and let me know and I'll reserve it for you. Okay guys, thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.